Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover topics like um, uh, the normal foreign exchange and also covering a bit of options. How to use options to cover or to hedge your receivables, to hedge your payables. Right. This is uh, for companies, SMEs, MNCs. And for uh, traders and high net worth individuals, they can also use options to trade and to cover their own uh, assets. Uh, that they have, you know. For example, if you're a, you have 100 million US and you're afraid that US dollar is going to go down over the next six months, what do you do? You know? So, of course, if I were to teach you, I would say you buy a put option, which will give you the right to sell US dollars over a period of time so that you mitigate that loss by paying an option fee, a premium. But that gives you the flexibility whether you want to exercise the option or you don't want to. So that those will all be covered in the course as well. Mm, I see, okay. That's, that's uh, interesting. So, um, so basically, who should attend? Um, well, um, but like I said earlier, those who work in the banks, those working uh, for MNCs, for uh, SMEs in Singapore, uh, the investors, and anyone who wants to dabble in foreign exchange at some point in time or another should attend this club because it will give them a background from scratch. You, know, you do not need to know FX to attend this course. I will start from scratch and I'll build it up so that you will have a strong foundation in order to, to participate in the FX market, whether as an investor, whether as a hedger, you can do that. Right. Actually, I'm curious, there's more and more um, merchants or, or entrepreneurs that want to start up e-commerce platform. So e-commerce, but because we can actually market it to, to globally, right, in the region, and usually we price it using USD. And when we want to reach out to the, um, especially the Southeast Asia region, or even to the, you know, the US market or the Euro market, um, is understanding something on this foreign currency exchanges or how to hedge it, you know, um, be beneficial to how we do pricing and, um, you know, any possibility that we can even profit from the foreign currency. Um, pricing strategy every time we make a sale yeah good question as long as you do as long as if you're, if you're a Singapore company your base is sing, sing dollars but if you do an e-commerce and your receivables or your payables are US dollars mm. there is an element of risk so by learning foreign exchange uh, you learn how to mitigate those risks and whether it's 5% or 3% or 10% where you save because you cover yourself with foreign exchange uh, uh, forward rates or you cover yourself with options, it goes a long way to helping your business. And uh, I suppose many people would want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, after saying all that, even during the course, I will speak a little bit on why the US dollar eventually, not now, not for the next few years, will lose its uh, importance because many countries are trying to bypass the US dollars uh, because of uh, the, f the present uh, president who is trying to you know create a lot of problems so many countries including Europe China Russia uh, Middle East they are trying to price their goods not in US dollars mm -hmm. but in RM RMB or in uh, some other uh, or in EU mm. so those two currencies will gain prominence over the next few years I see. Uh, okay. and the US dollars may decline if uh, they continue to to have that trade friction with China trade friction with the EU so we have to, to watch out for that mm. I'll cover a little bit you know during the course on that one I see okay okay interesting that's good to know, yeah. If let's say you're going to price it uh, in, 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 in mind with um, 
uh, this uh, RMB or the euro euro currency itself, um, other than USD, that, that could be very interesting to find out and plan ahead for that. Yeah, especially if we are going to do business um, to the, all these countries.